patent prosecution when we refer to the term prosecution we refer to the continuation of a course of action with the view of its completion prosecution means the continuation of a course of action which results in something when we talk about patent prosecution we are referring to what happens to an patent application that is filed before the patent office and its continuation within the patent office up until it results in a grant so we traditionally understand prosecution as things that happen between two timelines the first timeline is the time for application and resulting in the time for grant now this timeline the time between time of application and the time of grant is what we refer to as patent prosecution now this is true for a patent application any application will have these two timelines and whatever happens within this timeline is what we refer to as patent prosecution there are many things that happen between these timelines now within the time for the grant you will find that there are publications that happen first there is a time for publication 1 what we call the pre grant publication and there is also a publication that happens at this point itself along with the time for the grant there is another publication that is t p2 that's the second publication upon grant the application gets published now this time period is the time within which the patent application remains dormant what we call this is the patent application has a confidential status the patent application is kept confidential it is not published so this time period nothing happens at the patent office soon after publication during this time there are a couple of events that can happen they can be uh, after publication they can be a uh, request for examination that is the time for request for examination then after the time for request for examination they can be a uh, time for filing the fer the first examination report within 6 plus 3 months you can get an extension of up to 3 months there has to be a time for reply to the fer now reply to fer now after this there will be a period during which the patent office will look into it and this can continue the patent office actions requiring certain things to be set right and then the patent eventually results in a grant now let's look at the stages the application goes through in the process of a prosecution now first as we said there is an application the patent application is published now it is not published normally for a period of 18 months during from the date of filing till 18 months the application is not published this is because there is a period of dormancy the period where the application is kept confidential the reason it is kept confidential is because of certain international arrangements where the applicant will get 18 months to decide which jurisdictions the applicant needs to enter again the confidential status is required because of the design of patent law patent law has a concept called novelty which we have already discussed and novelty means there should not be any disclosure of your invention before filing the patent application so an application which you file say in india if it is published soon after you file it say within a month if you were to if you choose to file an application in china say after 2 months your own publication in india of your application can act as a prior art can anticipate your chinese application so because the world fo follows a global novelty standard 
anything that is disclosed and published in any part of the world can be used to anticipate a potential invention there is a requirement to keep things confidential so the 18 month period is a confidential period during which no publication hap happens which gives the applicant the time to move to other jurisdictions and put an application in place now the 18 month period which is uh, a standard period across the globe tells us that the application will be open to public only after this 18 month period and the 18 month period as i mentioned starts from the date of application now there is a particular form by which in case you don't want to wait for the 18 month period there is a form which you can use under the patents rules which is called the form 9 and you can request for an early publication now the publication can be before the 18 months now why would somebody do this now somebody would do this if the applicant needs an expeditious grant so rather than waiting for the 18 months period you can take a request for early publication so the application may get published say in a few weeks or in a month's time and then you have cut down the timeline by say of 18 months and you are now moved to the next phase no once the application is published then it follows up by the applicant taking a request for examination once the application takes the request for examination the patent office examines it and grants the patent so in cases where an applicant needs an expeditious grant then there is a provision by which the applicant can take an application under form 9 requesting an early publication now there are certain exceptions to this 18 month rule now 18 month is the rule where in a normal case when an application is filed it is not published it is kept dormant or it it, it enjoys confidential status for 18 months the exceptions to that rule are where cases where an application is not published even after the 18 month is one where a secrecy direction is imposed the government imposes a secrecy direction because the invention could be something that affects national security or 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 is relevant from a defense perspective so the government imposes a secrecy direction so as long as the secrecy direction continue the application will not be published two the patent application is abandoned now this arises in a situation where a provisional is filed and the provisional is not continued through a complete so when the patent application is abandoned at the provisional stage there is no need for a publication and the third instance is where the patent application is withdrawn prior to the 18 month period now three months prior to the 18 month period the applicant has the right to withdraw his application so if the application is withdrawn by the applicant then again there is no need to publish it 